This week for the first scripture lesson, you're going to hear a very familiar story. Uh, at least it's very familiar to the kids in Sunday school. We do seem to do it every year. I went to the Sunday school room and found a box for the lesson. Let's see if you can guess the story if I show you some of the props in the box. I have this. Guess how many there are? One, two, three, four, five. Did you guess five? Do you know the story yet? I also have this in the box. I have one and two. Do you know the story yet? It's the story of loaves and fishes. And in the version that um, Jasema is going to read for you today from Matthew, they don't talk about the young man, the boy who shared his lunch, but in the versions from Luke and John, you definitely hear the story about the young boy who shares his food with the disciples, and then Jesus challenges them to share it with the crowds. Hi everyone, I'm reading Matthews chapter 14 verses 13 through 21. Hear the word of the Lord. Jesus heard what happened to John. He wanted to be alone. So he went in a boat to a quiet place. The crowds heard about this. They followed him on foot from the, from the towns. When Jesus came ashore, he saw a large crowd. He felt deep concern for them. He healed their sick people. When it was almost evening, the disciples came to him. There is nothing here, they said. It's already getting late. Send the crowds away. They can go and buy some food in the villages. Jesus replied, they don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. We only have five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. Then Jesus directed the people to sit down on the grass. He took the five, lo five loaves and the two fish. He looked up to heaven and gave thanks. He broke the loaves into pieces. Then he gave the them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. All of them ate and were satisfied. The disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftover pieces. The number of men who ate was about 5,000. Women and children ate as well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Um, I took sharing as the word of the day and asked the kids about it. So, is sharing easy to do or hard to do? Hard. Hard. Like to share something? Mm -hmm. Um, kind of, well, in my view, it's, it matters on what it is. Uh, hard. Hard. It's hard? What's hard to share? Uh, the toys, I guess. Yeah. Toys? Okay. What's really hard to share? Um, your favorite toy. Okay. Your, when you, when you want something in someone else. You get a compromise, which is hard. Oh, compromises are hard, but they can work, right? Yeah, they're sometimes hard. Okay. Is there anything that's easy to share? No. no. Maybe, maybe. Is there anything that's easy to share? Yes. What? Um. It's what's easy to share is your family. You share your family at the same time. You share your family? Okay. What else is easy to share is flowers. Is there anything you can think of smart that's easy to share? Like um, stuff like pencils and stuff like that other people um, don't have and like stuff that you don't use as much. Yeah, yeah, okay. That like. makes sense. I have something here that we, you got a job to do. Hmm. Can you guys split those up between us? We've got to share these between the four of us. Can you guys um, split them up? Okay. I've got a task for you. We get to divide these up between us. You guys, I can see you guys doing the math already. Well, wait, there's so an odd there's, number. Wait, we so could be including, including you. Yeah. Including you. Wait, so, so then this would be easy because... No, but there's... Mm -hmm. Hi? What are you guys doing? We're going to split these up and share them between us. Would you like to oh. help? 
So we would, we would have to all each get one, and then we would have to Okay, do each. that. Do that real quick. Sounds like they knocked something over. Each buddy get one. And then we have to split both of these in thirds. In thirds. That's kind of hard. Okay, that's very creative. I like it. But we, we, we'd have to, like, open them up and get a, a knife and everything, which I don't have right now, so why don't you guys just take the extra two? You can eat. Do you want a baggie, or do you want to eat them now? Mm, I okay, because you might want to take them home, share them. Take I'm, them home and share them. Yeah, I might give one to my brother. Well, he's going to come in and, and do this anyway. Oh, with everybody? So you don't have to. Okay. You can save it for you, or you can share it with your folks when you get home. Yeah. I'm giving everybody a chance to think about how to split things up and share. Uh, Wait, let's all, let's all put ours in there. Yeah. Okay. Can two, two, five. What about two, five? No, we can get that one. Oh, so you mean take away one, one, yeah. and then everybody yeah. gets one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can that we would eat be this? fair enough. Would we like to eat this? Can you can take it? it outside and eat it. Sure. Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah. Wait a minute. We yeah. haven't finished yet. We're just splitting them up right now. So that one you open. That one's going to be yours. Mm. Don't eat it yet. Though. Okay. Keep it closed. Mm -hmm. just one for you, and then what? One for you. Okay, and then what? Then there's two more, so it can't be all of us, so we split. We split two, one piece of this, of, of one of the these. Can I play? Just this one. Okay, hold on, you gotta get your hands clean. Okay. Oh wait, looks like Ella's here too. Here, get your hands clean, Ella. Well, you know what? We don't have a problem anymore, do we, Brooke? How do we play this game? We're, we're splitting and sharing what was on the table. Oh, look at that. It worked out perfectly. So as we go into this week of Thanksgiving, even though sometimes it's hard to count our blessings because we don't feel very blessed, I do challenge you to count your blessings and to share some joy with people this week. Might be food might just be other things.